All right, so in today's video, I'm taking a look at an electronic pest deterrent device. But to be upfront, I've used it for a while. I still cannot tell you with 100% certainty, does it or does it not work? Hmm. So you can stop watching now if you don't care to know a little bit more. But let's talk a little bit more about it. You can check out more information, make your own decision. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm taking a look at this pest deterrent, it's an electronic pest eliminator. It has a red and a green light on the top that blinks. On the back you have your connection for power, so it does have a power cord. It's not very long, probably right around three feet, a little bit less maybe. So that is your power cord. It's not battery operated and it's not waterproof so you can't use it outdoors and it's not easily portable <coughs> excuse me because of the length of this wire which like I said not super long right in the three foot range placement might be a problem for some people so it's something to keep in mind now it's very directional I don't know if you can see that very well but this way that way angled and very noticeable so you have the red blink uh, red and green blinking light so that maybe would help to deter you have on the back a adjustment for the intensity, so one, two, and three. One, you probably won't hear anything. Two, you're probably gonna hear a little bit. Three, you're definitely gonna hear it. So I didn't expect that I would be able to hear it at all. And as you age, of course, it becomes harder to hear certain frequencies. I can actually hear this on three very easily, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout a pretty good area and the nice thing about this though is it is designed to cover a little over 1700 feet uh, square feet so pretty decent size you also have another switch on the back it has a test mode and then it has uh, different operations there's like a stable output so there's a more consistent and then there's a variable output there's also a duo which I just think is the best so you get that alternating uh, sound and this is what basically I have found well, real quick, this is the box that it comes in. Had a little user manual. So, what I've basically found about this is, well, any, any pest that you try to eliminate needs a multi-layered approach, number one. So you want, it, it possibly, especially like, like rats and things are supposed to be very smart, apparently. They can learn very quickly. Um, just like humans, like nails on a chalkboard, that's going to bother some people. It's not going to bother other people. I think this is similar to that. It's going to bother some, you know, pests, rodents and such. Maybe not others, but I can say this. Um, I've been using it for a little while, and because of the area I live, it's very country setting. Uh, some trees were cut down that kind of pushed, you know, some rodents into my area they got up under and I could hear them at night uh, pretty much every single night I could hear them and when I put this in ever since I put this in I haven't heard them at all so that's good my dog would bark at night and he would go you know act like he was chasing or looking for something um, he hasn't been the investigative you know little guy uh, in the time that I've used this so do I think that it works Yes, I think that it's helpful, but can I say with certainty that it works? No, I cannot. Uh, maybe they're just left the area. Maybe they're just not in the area at the moment. I don't know. Maybe something changed. But again, before using it every single night, after using it, I haven't heard a single thing. So I think that it works. And again, I think it's a, a good idea to have a multi-layered approach. So if you want bait, uh, glue traps, traditional traps, uh, electronic pest elimination, you know, just all the different things that you can do to eliminate any potential pests. So fortunately I've never had a major problem with that, but when they cut down some of the trees and all that kind of drove them in, into my area a little bit more, so they were looking for a place and I was the closest. So anyway, I just wanted to speak real quick about that. So it's pretty interesting, uh, you know, technology I think is, but Anyway, I am going to show you 
uh, or let you hear what this sounds like, see the lights flashing. So I'll show you that real quick and otherwise you can check out the link below the video, maybe read some more about it, but it's not, you know, it's not huge, it's not overly large, so it's very lightweight, but apparently it seems to be effective, but I can't say that with certainty. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, you should go out and get it, it's going to solve your problems. And everybody's experience is going to be different again just like humans uh, animals some are bothered some are not so anyway check out the link below for more but before that check out this real quick example to show you the lights flashing I'll flip between the intensities and into the test and out of the test mode and everything and you can just kind of hear what it sounds like see it in action okay thanks all right so there you go you can see that it has the red and the flashing green light so that potentially could be a deterrent I think you hear that little chirping type sound. All right, so that's on level three. If I turn it down, that's level one. I don't hear anything myself. I doubt the microphone picked it up. I don't know if you're able to hear that, but there's a very slight sound. And then that, of course, is level three. Definitely can hear that. Doesn't bother me, but it may bother some people. All right, so it's in duo mode right now, like the alternating. If I flip it over. So there's a, like I said, a stable and a variable. And I don't know that you can actually hear anything. You may hear it when it flips between them. You can probably hear that one. And then test mode. with both hands, uh, one hand. So, anyway, you can hear that little chirping sound. That may drive some people nuts. Doesn't bother me. I got used to it very quickly. It's just background noise, not a big deal. But by any means, that gives you, like, hopefully some idea. You can tell it's very directional because if I turn it, the sound is a lot more prominent when it's facing directly at you. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick idea of what that sounds like. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Thanks for watching. And again, there is a link below if you want to read more about this, find out more specifics. Okay.